How to do a coronavirus test in a mental health or learning disability service. If you are a support worker, senior support worker, deputy or manager, someone you care for may need a coronavirus test and be unable to do it themselves. If this is the case, here is how to do a coronavirus swab test for them. Thank you for helping keep those you care for and the community safe. Take your time to follow all the steps. You may need someone to help at certain points, so make sure they've watched this too. We recommend that you take the COVID-19 Care Home Swabbing Online Individual Competency Assessment, which can help improve the success of the test. You can register at www.genqa.org forward slash care homes. Step one, what to do before the test. Two people should work together to conduct the test, one recording the test and the other swabbing the resident. Make sure you have the right consent. Search COVID-19 looking after mental capacity for guidance on what to do if the resident doesn't have capacity. Confirm your collection time with the courier so the completed test can be sent to the lab quickly. Wash or sanitize your hands thoroughly. Make sure you and your colleague are wearing the right PPE, following the guidance from Public Health England. You will need a clean, dry surface where you can unpack and set down your kit. Step two, checking your kit. Check your kit, swab, inside sealed wrapper, plastic tube with a small amount of liquid, transportation tube, Ziploc bag, a larger bag or envelope, barcodes or unique reference numbers. Kits may vary. Guidance for both Randox and Kingfisher kits is available at gov.uk forward slash coronavirus dash get dash tested. If the items you have don't match the list in the instructions for your kit, stop and call 119. Step three, labeling the test kit. Some kits will have the barcode stuck on already. If yours hasn't, you will need to apply barcodes to the kit before taking the test. Place a barcode on the plastic tube. If there are any of your resident's personal details on the tube, please remove or cover these up. Place one on the Ziploc bag. Place one on the resident's care plan or test record. Your colleague should fill out the test record so you avoid touching anything. They should record the time you start each test and log this on the test kit website after. Step four, preparing your resident for the test. If your resident needs specific preparation in advance of medical tests as part of their health plan, discuss this with the GP in advance. If the person you care for wants to perform the test themselves and is able to, they should be encouraged to do so. Be aware that your resident might be nervous, scared or unsure. Take a moment to walk them through the steps and encourage them to ask questions. Stay calm and confident as it will reassure and help them feel more comfortable. Whilst performing the test, your colleague can comfort the resident. If the person becomes distressed, abandon the test. Step five, doing the test. Ask your resident to gently blow their nose into a tissue. Carefully take the swab out of its package making sure it doesn't touch anything. If you are taking a throat swab, ask them to open their mouth wide and gently rub the swab over their tonsils for 10 seconds. Remove the swab, being careful not to touch anything else. Next, you will swab a nostril. Again, ask for consent first. For some people, a throat swab will not be possible. In this case, a nose swab from both nostrils should be taken instead. Put the same end of the same swab gently into their nostril until you feel slight resistance. Rotate the swab for 10 to 15 seconds and slowly remove. This may feel a little uncomfortable, but should not hurt. Carefully place the swab in the plastic tube, fabric tip facing down. Snap off the other end of the swab so it fits in the tube. Securely fasten the lid and check it's screwed on tightly. If the tube leaks, the test won't work. You can now put the tube down on the clean surface. The test is now complete, so you can get it ready for courier collection. 
for people with learning disabilities or other intellectual or capacity issues, consider a reward for successful completion of the test. Step 6. Packaging the sample for collection. Take the labelled plastic tube containing the swab and place in the transportation tube. Place lid on securely. Next, place the transportation tube into the labelled Ziploc bag and secure it by ensuring the adhesive strips make a tight seal. Place the Ziploc bag into the larger bag or envelope from your kit and seal it shut and wipe down the exterior of the bag. Remove and safely dispose of your gloves and apron, replacing these with a the new set before performing another test. If you are done for the day, you can also dispose of your mask and visor or goggles. Provide the sealed collection envelope to your courier when he arrives, whilst keeping a safe two meter distance. Step seven, what happens next? Record each swab sample against the correct resident details and register your completed tests online using the barcode or unique reference number on the same day that you conduct the swab testing. It's really important the right person's details are linked to the right test. The person registered to receive the results will get them within 72 hours. Thank you for helping keep those you care for and the community safe.